What's up guys, Cut Protagonist here, and today we'll be doing a deck profile on the Royal Paladin Alfred Blaster deck from the brand new set Miyagi Academy. This will be the deck I will be using once the English set is out later this week. I would like to thank Royal Home Entertainment for borrowing me the Japanese cuts in order to make this deck profile possible. So without further ado, let's get started. Royal Paladin is a force clan used by Aichi in the anime. The deck focuses on recruiting units to form quality formations, and with the new cards from Miyagi Academy, Bedivere and K combo makes easy 25k guard columns with the force markers. And it is very very important because 25k means your opponent will have to guard with minimally 2 cards, because if you are hitting 20k and below, they can usually get it with a 20k shield which is a heal trigger, or a 15k shield which is just a crit trigger. So usually my magic number in my opinion is 25k right now, since you will be depleting 2 cards off your opponent's hand. And our new boss monster, Sentry Alfred, makes easy 25k guard columns with Blaster Blade. And he also upgrades Blaster Blade's defensive capabilities, gaining 5k extra shield. Alfred is such an amazing card, I can't wait to show you my favorite deck. So let's go! So here's the boss unit of the deck 4 copies of Monarch Sentry Alfred. He's from the Miyagi Academy, which will be coming up later this week. He is such a versatile card. Firstly, he makes all your Blaster Blades, which is your main engine of deck, really, really powerful. Continuous ability. All your Blaster Blade on your Rearguard or Guardians of Gains plus 10k attack power and 5k extra shield. So Blaster Blade with a standard booster right now, together with Force Markers, can now hit for 25k guard against any Force deck and below. So this is very important because as previously mentioned, 25k seems to be the magic number to, of depleting your opponent's hand cards. So I really, really love this formation because right now Blaster Blade is really, really powerful and he really swings hard. And gaining the extra 5k shield really increases the deck's events, which helps a lot. His second ability is Vanguard ability when this unit is Raiden. You can counter blast one and soul blast one. Return a blaster blade from your drop zone to your hand. And until the end of the turn, this unit gains plus 15k attack power and you have an Alfred in the soul. So some of the other Alfreds I play is the original King of Knights Alfred, so they gain an extra crit. And one thing to note is, let's say you go for IG Sender and write Blaster Blade here on grade 2. And if you were to write um, Sentry Alfred, you can always use Alfred's ability to soul blast first, then retrieve it back with his ability. Otherwise, you don't really have any Blaster Blades in the drop zone, you aren't really blasting off. So what I usually do is I actually just soul blast out Blaster Blade. Get it back to my hand and then call it. And with a force marker, you'll basically be a 30k attacker. Really, really powerful. I really love Alfred Monarch's art. And honestly, back in the Link Joker era, I didn't really get to use Monarch Alfred much because I was using Ezo as a Link Joker counter. So I'm really happy that I got a chance to use him right now. Next, we play four King of Night Alfreds. He's actually one of my first right targets before going to Monarch Sentry because. Uh, firstly, Modern Sentry needs to have an Alfred in the soul to gain an extra crit, and he is usually my first right target. Also, in case during an event I don't have Blaster Blade in the soul, I can always use original Alfred to count Blast and search it out from the deck, then intercept with Blaster Blade, then later right onto Modern Sentry Alfred, gain that crit, and fetch back that Blaster Blade back to my hand so that I can call it out. So yeah, um, he's kinda your main right target. You could also use early if you want to, but I kinda like King of Night Alfred because it's much more consistent. So his first Vanguard ability, once per turn, you can counter Blast 1 and search your deck for 1 Blaster Blade and quite the regular circle. That unit gains a 5k power for that turn, so that Blaster Blade caught will be a 15k, which is very nice because it pushed for damage. And second ability is, during your turn, if you have Blaster Blade on your regular circle, it gains a 10k attack power. So not only will you will be able to recruit the Blaster Blade, you will also be able to power up itself, which is really nice. And two copies of our feature, Escal Play D Blaster. Yeah, this card is absolutely amazing in this format because Excel is really dominating, and this card does wonder against Excel. When this card is placed on the Vanguard Circle, count the Blast 1 and choose one card from a soul, put all other cards from the soul into the drop zone, and when this unit attacks during this turn, it attacks all opponent cards in one attack. So it basically attacks all their boosters, all six of your units, and if they have Excel Circles, it destroys all the Excel Circles. This is why it's such an inc incredible card because uh, fighting at Excel is very 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 important to control the number of units they have because they will usually just throw all their hand onto the bot and try to swing you for game but with this guy you will be basically be able to destroy the bot and they will be left small hand size you will be able to finish them off. His second auto ability will activate at the end of the battle attacks. Put two cards from your hand to the soul and retire this unit and write a blaster blade from your soul. If you fail to write you lose the game so it is very important to have a blaster blade in your soul. Either you do not soul up blast it out when you write it as grade 2 or you can just, after it text, you put two cards into the soul, you can put the Blaster Blade in and write the Blaster Blade. Otherwise, you will lose the game. So yeah, two copies of Escal Blade because it's so good. Now, for the great to play, four copies of Tachiyarade, Boku no Bunshin, Blaster Blade. This is one of my favorite cards since the beginning of Vanguard. Honestly, I started out as a Gold Paladin player, but I really, really love Blaster Blade. So Blaster Blade is still your main engine of deck due to the fact that Alfred's just giving you so much power. 
All right, when this card enters the field, you can come blast one, soul blast one. If you do, retire one of the opponent's Rhaegar in the front row. One of my favorite abilities is his Great 2 Rush ability. Continuous Vanguard ability, if four or more Rhaegars, this card gains plus one extra critical. So, you know, it is very, very easy to swarm with this deck since we have Bedivere and some of the uh, extra swarm cards. So, usually doing Great 2s, I'll be able to do a lot of damage to opponents so that during Great 3 run, I could actually go for game. So, yeah, Blast Blade is amazing and it gives you a bit of monster control and you gain so much power through Alfred, which is really revivable right now. And overall, you gotta play four copies of my avatar. Next, we play four copies of Akane. Hmm. You could actually use uh, Mitchu Conjurer, but I'm still going for Akane because I really, really love this card. So, Akane's skill is with Count Blast 1, Vanguard Regard ability. If you do such a deck for one Pongo and call it to your Regard Circle anywhere, and if this card is boosted by High Beast, it gains with extra 3k power. The reason why I like still like the play this card is because I play Pongo and Pongo has a chance to soul charge in that Alfred. Sometimes when I do Lux I can just ride Alfred. Alfred immediately gains the ability to gain an extra crit, just swing hard and just go for a game. And the main reason why I use it is because I really, really want to gain an extra crit through Blaster Blade so I can push for early damage. And that's mostly what it's used for. She's still a very, very good card. Come Blast 1 to fill up a column. It just gives you so much advantage, especially for early in Rush. Now, four copies of a brand new card from Miyagi Academy. Four copies of Bedivia, Loyal Knight. Auto Rigor ability, when this card is called from your hand, you may superior call 1k. If you do, you can draw one card. So it's very useful because uh, there are times where you actually have both copies of them and you say, oh shoot, I won't be able to use K ability to search it out for free. Or oh, rather count Blast 1. But don't worry because if you have the combo, you can always just call this and combo call this. So they can draw one free card, which is awesome, man. Uh, because it gives you extra units to call. His second ability is Continuous. Regard ability, when this card is boosted by a K, you gain extra 3K attack power. And if, if K is boosting Bedivia, you gain extra 3K. So in a way, you're gaining extra 6K, which is kind of like a 5K more to guard. So yeah, uh, the new K Bedivia engine is awesome. So let's go on to our great ones. Four copy of K. K is such an awesome card because uh, this is one of the first few units which is actually the great one such as for the great two. Regard ability, when this card enters the field from the hand, Counter Blast 1, if you do such a deck for one Knight of Loyalty Bedivia and call it to your Rigard Circle. This is really good because early game, if you want to unlock your Blaster Blade crit, you can just call this and call the Bedivia. And just like that, you already have like one full column. And just need two more units to get that extra crit. The second ability is when this card boosts and Bedivia, it gains extra 3k. So if it's boosting Bedivia and Bedivia boosts, the whole column gets 6k. Sweet. Now we play the classic great one, Little Sage Marin. Auto Rigor ability, when another unit is placed in the same column as this unit, you can come blast one to draw a card and this unit gets a streak in power. This card is pretty awesome because sometimes you have a blast ability at hand, just call it in front of it. Come blast one, draw one card and it speed your deck up a little. So yeah, four copies of Marin. And finally, three copies of Tech in Pongal. Pongo is just search up for Akane, usually not used in the early game. It's kind of like a backup booster, and my main boosters will still be K, and if I do not have K, it's okay, I can always just early game call Pongo. Another reason why Pongo is actually good is because when this unit is placed, you can soul charge 1, and if you soul charge a trigger, it still gains 5k attack power, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's mostly used for your early game Blaster Blade crit play. So let's go on to the trigger units, we play 4 copies of Flogo. She's one of my favorite crits of all time, true Vanguard. 4 copies of Good Luck Epona. She's truly one of my good luck charm. Always giving me that crit. Four copies of Isolde. Draw perfect guard. Awesome. You gotta save a lot of space for great ones. And four copies of Elaine. She's also one of my lucky charm and always give me that death heal. And one copy of Grime because when you write, you can draw one card. And I love the full art. Check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed my deck before on my Royal Paladin Alfred deck from the brand new set Miyagi Academy. And I hope this deck before gives you the right information you need to build your favorite Royal Paladin deck. If you'd like to see more awesome deck profiles and deck battles, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. So once again, thank you guys for watching, peace out and love you guys. Rawr.